have you ever wondered have you ever wondered how to do text on a curve in affinity photo it's certainly available in affinity designer but not yet available fully in affinity photo but you can do it let's have a look at this i'll select the text mode here artistic text tool go over here and click on that now that's one i created before <laughs> as they say and you can see those red dots there the red the little red triangles and the green triangles you use those to push the text around and it will push all the way around until it gets to the red triangle and then it pops you can see to the left hand side there now it pops to the outside but you adjust those handles to wherever you want the text to appear and where you want it to where you want it to move to boom and out it goes you see so let's leave that one there there's another one in the middle let me drag that around so it's not in the middle of that one and you can see it's a rough shape but it's the same deal back to artistic text tool and just click there this is text on a curve that goes here oops and you can see it puts it on the outside now how do you get that to go on the outside you push that all the way around till you get to there but there's a there's an odd little aside to this We've got to go back there, back there to in front of the T, because you've got to put a space in front of that first letter. Otherwise, to get it to go on the outside bar there, you see. And it just slipped off because those nodes there don't quite join. But let's finish with that one. We'll go up there. It's text on a line. Now, of course, you can tilt that any way you like. You can move that up and down. Let's see if we... This text goes on a falling line. And you can see that it's Text goes on a falling line. Oh, and I can't spell either. L I L I L N E. L I N E. There we go. This text goes on a falling text on a line. And you can do all that. Now that's in Affinity Photo. How did I get that there? Well, let me drag in Affinity Designer. I'm running Affinity Designer. And there's almost the same thing. I did that in Affinity Designer text on a curve and that's really simple in affinity designer let's say i want to put something in the middle so i'll draw a little shape um let's find a shape shall we find the right shape there we go shape tool there's a there's a one of those just draw a circle pop it out you go and find the text, you select the text tool, artistic text tool, and right on the line is where you put your text. There we go. And you can see the cursor flashing there. This is text on a line, and of course, ta da! It's very small. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it. This is text on a line. And of course you can make it any colour you like. Let's make it red or pink or blue. Whatever colour you like. Okay, back over here. This is text on a line. And it's that line in there. And you can move that circle around, of course. 
There's our little move tool. Ta da! Let's put it up there. Now that we've got that, let's save this. And we just save as, because I want to put it somewhere else. Text on a curve macro number two. That's just, and that's in downloads. That's just to, and it, it will save it as an Affinity Designer file. Okay? Now that's not a problem because we'll just uh, bump that out of the way for a moment. We'll go over, where are we? Back to Affinity Photo. And we'll open a file. Ta -da! Downloads text on a curve macro number two. And you think, ah, Affinity Designer document. They're both Affinity Designer documents. Doesn't matter. Open it up. And there it is there. Now, isn't that wonderful? How do you modify that? Artistic text tool. Text on a line. Add a text to it. Let's make the whole thing a bit better. Arial um, American Typewriter. Now that's a nice font. <laughs> that's very plain. American Typewriter. And make it a bit bigger. There we go. That's all there is to it. Put that anywhere on your page. Now because that's an Affinity Photo file, you can save as number two in photo. Oh, we don't want any of those funny little things there, do we? Just save that and downloads at the moment because that's all I'm worried about. Let's go and have a look at that, shall we? Applications, downloads, there's in photo. And you'll see over on the right hand side, it's an Affinity Photo document. Whereas the first two that we were using are Affinity Designer documents. Now that's amazing. Does it still work? Of course it does. So you can do it in Designer and put it into photos and it still works. You can still move it around, you can still add text to it. Ta da ta da ta da that one there. Ta da ta da ta da do what you like with it. See if you want that on the outside you've got to push it right around past the red dot. If you want it on the inside, well just type it on the inside. If you want it on a straight line, just draw a straight line in designer. See those curves and lines have been done in designer. You can't do the curves and lines in photo. Well, you can, but you can't put text on them. Don't ask me why they don't do it. Maybe they'll catch up with it one day. Now, for putting text on a curve, on a shape of any sort you like, you start off in Designer, load the document into photo, and there you have it. Do your design, copy, paste, save it as a photo file. It's still very editable. So, hope you enjoy that little tutorial.